Beloved in Christ, you've probably heard this statement before that God is a God of second chance. Well, this is a true statement. There is no lie in it. That God do gives us chances after chances after chances in order to get our life in order or place in the right place that we'll walk in the right direction in this earth. That is very true. But beloved, God also judgments are final. His judgment is final. In other words, you may get a second chance while you yet live it, while you yet breathe air and blood course in your veins on this side. But beloved, once this life is over, it is finished. The Word of God says that judgment right then. In other words, you will not be judged when you die immediately because there is a waiting period for the ultimate judgment when the dead shall be risen from everywhere and will stand before the Lord in a great white throne judgment. We understand that. But your life is final. When your eyes shut, beloved, it is final. Nobody can pray you out. Nobody can pray certain prayers in order to get you from a place that does not even exist in the Bible. There's heaven and then there's hell. There's nothing else, beloved. So we have to recognize that. And the Word of God says this, that about God's judgment is final. In Romans 2, uh, 5 and 6, it says, But after thy hardness, now here's Paul writing to believers, But after thy hardness in impenitent, not willing to repent heart, treasures up unto thyself wrath against the day of against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. That's why, beloved, I said, beware of how you judge, because you will be judged righteously. And that's according to God's word. And if you judge righteously, then you judge according to the way that you judge. Amen. You'll be judged according to the way you judged others. So he says, of the wrath and the revelation of the righteous judgment of God. We don't know the judgment of God, beloved. We see things happen today in this earth, and many things are by chance and has nothing to do with God's judgment whatsoever. You know, something happened terrible to someone, and then we say God is judging them. The judgment of God has fell upon them. You don't know that, beloved. We live in this earth in chance. Like someone said the other day, well, where all, all the be many believers are dying, uh, you know, uh, uh, by faith. And, and they, they are walking by faith, but they are dying from, uh, from uh, 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 the, the pandemic that is in the earth today. Why are so many believers, you know, and, and, and she wrote and she said, well, I can't believe Psalms 91 any longer. I don't believe that it's possible that God can keep you as he said he can. And I don't believe that was for us today. And I question her on that because the fact is this, that if you read Psalms about God's judgment falling upon the land and that he will protect his people, he said he would protect them and their dwelling place. He didn't say he would protect them on the job if they decide to do the job during a pandemic. He didn't say he would protect them at the beach or at a concert. No, he said, beloved, that he would protect them in their dwelling place and no pestilence will uh, come nigh them in their dwelling, beloved. That means in their home. You see how many times we can misconstrue the Word of God? And yet, 
live the life that we want to live and believe that God somehow has to be faithful even though we want to live like we want to live. Beloved, it just don't work that way. And look what the Word of God also says in the 6th verse. It says, Who will render to every man according to his deeds? The Lord will render unto you according to your deeds that you have done in this earth by faith. Not the ones that you've done by a doubt and unbelief and mistrust, but that which you have done by faith. Beloved, we are believing by faith. We are trusting by faith. You know, as I, I, I shared with my mother not too long ago, she, she shared about uh, a certain person was uh, very helpful to a friend of hers and how uh, helpful that person was and how they work a lot a lot in trying to appease to uh, this particular person who uh, uh, had been bereaved of a husband. And, 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 you know, I said, well, you know, Mom, remember, that is not about how much work that you do, even though work is included, but it's what you believe that determines your destiny. Not how much you work and how much you do, but the faith that you have in who you are doing it for. Amen? Who are you doing it for? You're doing it for the glory of God? Or are you doing it for yourself so you can um, uh, uh, garner parts before the Lord? No, beloved. It, you know, heaven is not that way. You know, you don't get into heaven that way, but you get into it by faith and by believing and by trusting in the finished works that Jesus Christ did on Calvary. When he said it is finished, that's exactly what he meant. It is finished. There's not another work that can be done in order to garner you and I heaven, but rather it is our belief to the very end that the Lord God will surely take us and be and and. and and cobble us unto himself. But beloved, it takes us believing and trusting. Amen? Beloved, be blessed this day in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you desire to contact us, you can. At Evangelist Joseph A. Brown, Post Office Box 186, Youngsville, Louisiana. Or you can call Texas at 337-278-8205. May the Lord bless you and keep you this day in Jesus' name.